Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Adventure Ponies 2! Wait, there's more? That's right, I am the Max of You Trades and I'm playing more silly, hastily put together Flash games! Uh, what can I tell you? It's adorable and fun and I, and I liked the first one so much, I figure I gotta play the sequel. I was never expecting a sequel, so this time we're gonna play a sequel. The twist, you see, that differentiates this from the f previous game is the fact that you're not playing as any of the actual main characters. You're playing as a bunch of peripheral characters that we very rarely ever see and very even rarely actually have any bearing on the plot. So, there you go! And uh, we're starting things off with Applejack's big brother, Big Macintosh. He is kind of awesome. So, you know what? We're starting off with him because he's playing one. Everything is completely the same as it was before in the last game. You run around, you jump stuff, and depending on what type of pony you are, you got some kind of crazy special ability. Uh, Big Mac can kick stuff. Well, actually, he can um, climb ladders. That's his special ability. It does not make any sense, but I don't know, they had to do something to make the Earth ponies unique, so to hell with it. We'll give them ladders. Why not? Anyway, Big Mac is probably the most frequently seen out of the six... No, he's definitely the most frequently seen of the six ponies that we get to play as in this specific game so out of everyone he is he only, he's pretty much the only one that really makes any genuine sense I suppose there's another one later on but regardless the, at least four of these characters that you get to play as make no dang sense anyway it's time to fight King Sombra the evil King Sombra and his evil crystal ways he's gonna take over the crystal empire like a jerk oh wait no he's not cuz I'm gonna kick him in the face like that just like that oh and apparently he disappeared into the ether Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Well, all right then. All right. We should probably collect more apples because, as we all know, high scores are the single most important thing in all of video games. If you don't have the best high score in all of history, then what was your point of even living? I tell you that much. I mean, seriously, when you don't have a good high score, you gotta look down deep inside yourself and ask, "What am I doing with my life? How did I let it get to this point?" And you'll never really be able to find the answer until you're able to manage to get some sort of crazy awesome high score. Of course, if I wanted the high score so badly, I to probably use all the bonus areas, but they get kind of tedious after a while, so I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm going to show them off all the same. So jump into this magical portal and boom! Apolocalypse! It is the freaking Apolocalypse. It is crazy. It is amazing. There's like no, no other way to say it. This is pretty much like, it's like Nirvana. If Nirvana was health food, I guess. Either way, Applejack would probably find the most joy here, but I suppose Big Macintosh will have to do. They are related. They are brother and sister, so... I guess it'll just simply have to do, and I heard that! I heard that in the music! I'm starting to run out of time! I gotta collect all the apples before the time runs out! I only got four seconds to collect all these apples! Oh, I gotta collect them! Yeah, there we go! Phew! Alright, I actually somehow managed to pull that off! Ain't that a big old pile of awesome! Of course, I say somehow, knowing full well that this is a ridiculously simplistic and easy game. But, to be fair, it's actually kind of a justified case, due to the fact that, you know, it's based off an Atari game. So, really, what on earth are you expecting? Timber Wolves! They are wolves made out of timber! That's like the most diabolically messed up thing I can think of. If you can think of something more twisted, then you are a weird person, and I don't care for you. So, bring on them wolves! Bring on them wolves! I kick them in the face! Ow! Okay, that hurt. Kick them in the face again! There we go. Alright, Big Mac, let's try and not get kicked! There we go! We didn't get bite bitten by the wolf! Ain't got no dang time for them timber wolves. They be a howling man. Ain't got time to deal with them. They're evil. They're also incredibly fragile. All you really gotta do is chuck a rock at them hard enough and they'll pretty much fall over. Either that or Applejack has the leg strength of like 15 supernovas. Which, you know what? Honestly, I probably wouldn't doubt. It's kind of her like thing is being super duper mega strong and durable. It's, it's kind of the earth pony way, I guess, is really basically the point of the whole thing. I mean, Pegasus can fly, unicorns can use magic, so what do the Earth Ponies have? Well, they're basically really freaking strong, and they have a lot of stamina. That's pretty much what they've got going on for them, which, uh, sadly doesn't really lend itself all that well to certain, you know, episodes. So it's not really as obvious of a special power. But, uh, they have something all the same, so you can't say they don't got something. They totes do. Alright, come on along, Big Mac. We need all of these apples. Why do we need all these apples? I don't know. To bundle up for the winter times, I suppose. It's gonna be all sorts of crazy winters, and we can't grow crops in the winter. We gotta, we gotta stockpile them all up. Otherwise, there's gonna be big trouble for everybody. We don't want none of that, of course. Big Mac, of course, is mostly silent. He does not talk much. He is a pony of very few words. Unless, if he can, if he can get away with just saying "yup" or "nope," 
and that's pretty much all he'll ever say, which is pretty, pretty dang awesome. Occasionally he'll say other things if he absolutely has to, but if he doesn't have to, he won't. Not entirely sure why that is. In fact, other characters have downright, like, stopped him from talking, so I don't know. Maybe if he's able to construct coherent sentences for more than 15 seconds, I don't know. Maybe the universe explodes. Either way, giant moray eels! Ah, they're gonna be all sorts of crazy. They're gonna jump out at you and they're gonna go, blah, 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 I'm an eel. And then you gotta kick them in the face. So you gotta be careful with these eels. They mean serious business. Eh, there we go. Kick them in the face! Kick them in the face, Big Mac! Ah, there we go! Okay, they don't call him Big Mac that often due to the fact that that is a burger and I don't know they might get sued or something Don't tell me how Burger King wouldn't do that Anybody will find any excuse to sue somebody for something. That's just how the world works nowadays. Sad, but true Anyway time to kick things down Using impressive leg strength. Yeah There we go, and I walked into that thing because I'm experiencing quite a bit of lag was not anticipating that Oh well nothing I can really do about it other than just play this game like a crazy person. And, yep. Okay, come on, Big Mac, you got this. Okay, Big Mac, seriously. Yeah, just, you, just gotta you just gotta kick that broken door, come on. Really, Big Mac, this isn't hard. Okay, that's really strange. Every other character can make that jump. That's downright confusing. Alright, maybe he can make this jump, yeah! There we go, that actually worked. Go, Big Mac. You weren't able to do something one way, but you found an alternative route. That is the sign of ingenuitivity. Or... Is that the word? Yeah, inju injuvenivity. Sorry, I was trying to think if I pronounced that correctly. I can't say I really know. Either way, giant freaking bears! They are completely immune to all forms of damage. The only way you could ever possibly manage to defeat them is to collect all of these musical notes and lure them into sleepy times. Just like that. You'd think enemies that are completely invincible to absolutely everything would, you know, put up a bit better of a fight, but alright, I'm not gonna complain. Just, I'm not really looking. I'm not really playing Adventure Ponies 2 for you know a challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm playing it because I like. It's, it's cute as all get out. Look at these Atari ponies! I swear, they are made out of freaking Cutonium is what they're made out of. All right, come on, come back, Mr. Platform. I need to jump on you. I need you for more perilous jumps. Also, I'm not entirely sure what region of Equestria this is. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the natural landscape doesn't usually, you know, showcase so many floating platforms and jagged spikes sticking out of the wall. I can only assume that this was built by some sort of nefarious criminal of some description. However, we're beating all of them up, so that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense, now would it? Alright. Perhaps we're in some sort of dungeon, some sort of unholy villain alliance. Then again, how exactly would you convince a bunch of timber wolves and, mo and giant eels to, you know, be part of your evil doer's alliance of evil, exactly. They're wild animals, they don't... Wild animals don't have any... I mean, I, you could tame them, I guess, but that's a lot of effort for something really not worth it. I mean, don't get me wrong, Timberwolves and the Eels, and, you know, they're cool and everything, but they're not exactly, I don't know, all that formidable. Like I said, the Timberwolves are freaky deaky fragile, and the Eels don't move. Anyway, Trixie! Oh snap, crackle pop, Trixie's in this game. Ah, she, she's shooting all sorts of crazy lasers and she's teleporting. Ah, oh, but unfortunately she has the Alicorn Amulet, which makes her completely invincible to everything everywhere. So that's unfortunate, so we gotta, we gotta nab it. Luckily she doesn't keep it in a cage or something. And then, uh, sadly, I'm going to have to kick her in the face! Da -da 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 -da. I'm sorry, Trixie. Come on, turn into a good guy already. Be their friend! And you can show up in the show more often and be a, a egotist and it'll be adorable. Come on, do it. I demand it from you. I don't like having to kick you in the face. It's, it's far from a pleasant experience, I'll tell you that. All right, jump. Them perilous jumps up. Oh, okay. Did not make that jump. Okay, so there's my first death. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to not have to have any of those, but... Ah, well. My incompetence knows no bounds, after all. Also, this lag. I'm blaming it on the lag, fools. Uh, I'm not sure what's causing it. This game was running perfectly not too long ago, but... I don't know. It's not exactly hurting anything, anyway. It's, you know, this game is freaking simplistic. And it's based off Atari, so... It's not like the Atari games were perfect, either, so... Yeah. There we go. It's probably, like, one of the only justifications for a game being unbelievably easy and simplistic I've ever seen. It's really kind of genius! So, kudos to whoever came up with this. However, unkudos for the people who... 
Let's be honest, they're very lazily just reusing all of their assets from the first game to make a sequel. Not entirely sure why, it's not like they made- it's not, I, I, like, how- do they even make money from making these things? I suppose from ad revenue, I guess, but... Really, was the first one clicked on so much that it warranted a sequel? Well, I'm not going to complain, I mean, it's totally awesome that they made a sequel, because that's otherwise... I wouldn't be playing it right now, but either way, CHANGELINGS! No, no, they have the attributes of all the ponies! That's just messed up, they're very adaptable that way. I just gotta, I just gotta kick him in the face! I just gotta, I just gotta kick him! I just gotta kick him in the face! Oh, now I'm dead. And now I'm alive again, and they're pouncing all over the place like crazy jerks! Ah, they're basically bug ponies! It's messed up, they work like a hive mind, it's crazy! Ow, I'm dead again! Dang, these changelings, they know what's up, bro. Hey, Come on, get over here. Get in my face. There we go. And just like that, the universe has been saved from various nefarious fiends. And that was Big Macintosh's wonderful romp through the crazy land of Equestria in the next part. Who are we playing as? Let me see. Shining Armor! We're playing as Twilight's brother. First Applejack's brother, now we're going to play as freaking Twilight's brother. That's freaking amazing. I'll see you guys next time.